Hey, you pick a ball in the world. This is the Hirachi Alpha. It's a top dog. Oof, oof. Let's see if it eats. Jimmy Pickles coming at you from a little different perspective. This is my, my living room. I'd be in my normal studio, which is my kitchen, except my daughter's in there, the room next to that, watching movies, which, you know, kind of interferes with what I'm trying to do here. But anyway, um, today, I'm going to do another comparison video uh, with our friends from 11624 and their Harachis. Um, always makes me want to eat Japanese food, but uh, uh, for some reason, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, really like the Harachis, um, really nice lineup of paddles. But they have three and I think even an, another one coming out. Um, so how do you know which one is the right one for you? So uh, anyway, I'll give you my two cents on how they play, who I would suggest paddle goes for. Um, uh, you know, would 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 what type of player would like which paddle? So, let's start it off with the they have a Kevlar, which unfortunately they're they're discontinuing the Kevlar, um, but it's kind of cool looking blue paddle, uh, the Hirachi X uh, Control 16 millimeter. Um, this one is a, a Kevlar face, uh, two layers of carbon fiber, and then uh, polypropylene core, honeycomb core. Um, really, really nice paddle, about, uh, I think about a six inch handle, five and a half, maybe six inch handle. We won't get into the specs. I think we've already done those for these. So more just how each one plays and which one might be right for you. So, uh, yeah, this is a, um, a very nice paddle, very uh, good touch. I think the Kevlar surprisingly is to me anyway, a little more plush, um, than just carbon fiber. Uh, it's a uh, very nice and I would say all court paddle, uh, very good with the resets, um, <clears throat> a good paddle for your, uh, for your dinking, um, decent power and pop, not, not crazy, uh, but plenty to put the ball away, uh, plays nice. You see a lot, a lot of ball dust on that one too. I did, I played with all three of these this morning. Um, you know, just again, to just kind of get a feel before we did this, but, uh, yeah, so that's the, the Kevlar, which they, you can get these probably, aftermarket somebody might be reselling them um they did have a big sale that i had mentioned uh in a previous video that uh, unfortunately the kevlars went like hot cakes they were gone within the first couple hours um so uh yeah i don't think it had anything to do with the play i think they just had a better um response to their other lineup uh the other uh, makeup of the the harachi so uh this is the control plus harachi x control plus uh very, very, very nice pal. Um, this has their two layers of carbon fiber with the um, uh, fiberglass underneath, uh, which the Kevlar did not have the fiberglass. So to me, these with the, the that the two layers of ca uh, carbon fiber with the fiberglass, just is a really, really nice play paddle, playing paddle. Um, when you're at the net and you're, you know, you're not needing a lot of, uh, um, power or, or pop and it's more just that touch game uh, you're really playing the carbon fiber of the paddle and it just responds really well really nice paddle for dinking uh, very good for resetting you know working your way in and that from that no man's land um, really nice uh, feel to this paddle they're all uh, the same shape by the way they're all um, the uh, kind of that hybrid shape leaning towards maybe a little bit towards a an elongated paddle but uh but definitely, um, you know, uh, about about the same shape. They all play similar, but, you know, just subtle differences. I think this one has more pop and power when you need it. Um, plays really nice all around. Uh, good feel at the kitchen. Again, you know, resets were, were pretty easy with this. Um, and a uh, nice paddle. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Give you the view of that one. And then... This is this is interesting. So this is it's the same shape. Uh, it's a Hirachi X, but it, this is the Alpha. So the Alpha was kind of a concept paddle. 
that they were just kind of futzing around with. So I don't know exactly what they changed, but they said it's, you know, improved materials and a different core, different courts make up. Um, but I didn't say what the difference was, just that it was a paddle. They, they weren't sure they were going to do mass uh, reproduction and, and, and actually bring this to market. I I think they are getting ready to bring the Alpha to market. I think they had a good response, uh, a very nice paddle, a little softer to me than the than the X uh, control. Um, I, if I had to venture a guess, I, I would say it's probably still that same two layers of carbon fiber with uh, fiberglass underneath. Maybe maybe three layers of carbon fiber. Maybe that's the difference. Uh, if I'm going to go out on a limb, because it is a little bit softer at the net. But again, that nice nice feel, um, good power with this when you need it. And again, I think that's just the ball sinking through the carbon fiber, and you and you start to activate that fiberglass layer, and you really get some some you know nice spin, some good shots. You know, look at look at all ball dust on that sucker. I mean, who hits the center of the paddle every time like that? Jimmy Pickles does. That's who. Um, so yeah, so these are these are what what they are um, they have today in time. I know they got some new stuff coming out probably in December, right? You know, ready for Christmas and the holidays. Um, I I I like them all. I will say it's a tough one because they're all I don't know. I mean, they're just they're all very good paddles um, and they all play nice. They I want to say they're geez, uh, about a hundred and. Forty dollars a pop, and then you get the discount. The uh, D Dog D D O G uh, pickleball under well D D O G underscore pickleball gives you uh, I think it's ten percent off. It might even be twenty percent, ten or twenty percent. Anyway, it's you know it's it's something. Um, drops them down to just a little over a hundred, maybe like a, a buck twenty-five, something like that. But for me, I kind of like the Kevlar. And I know it's it's going away, so I, I almost feel bad recommending this one <laughs> as my favorite, but I, I don't want to lie to you. Um, so, yeah, it's a really nice, it's a good paddle. It's a nice paddle, good all-around feel. Um, I just felt like it had a little better control to it. Uh, I was able to put some shots uh, into uh, the corners, you know, pretty easily. The ball was going where I wanted it to. That doesn't happen very often. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was uh, nice to play with. Um, I do weight them. Um, on the you'll see on the bottom they're all weighted the same so you got uh, about three or four inches of lead tape on the uh, uh, right below the I guess yeah, above the throat of the paddle just for a little more stability it helps with the twist weight so that the ball you know if you do have a doesn't hit quite in the center which obviously doesn't happen for me very often but if you hit the ball and it doesn't hit in the center uh, it's not going to twist in your hand as much with a little bit of lead tape on there. Um, the other thing I will say is they all come with cool covers, uh, nice covers. I mean, you know, think about it. You get these $280, $300 paddles coming out, and they don't give you a cover. Seriously? Come on. Give me a cover. Um, so these all come with a cover, and they're they're pretty inexpensive. Um, I don't want to say cheap because they're not cheaply made paddles. These are all thermoformed, uh, unibody design with uh, foam edging. Uh, just a really solid paddle using all the latest and greatest tech. So, um, and yeah, you know, they're not skimping on anything. So uh, they're just delivering a really good product at a really good price point. So uh, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Uh, if you can find one of the Kevlars, I like that one. Maybe you won't, but uh, I'm more of a control player, placement player uh, than I am power. Uh so that's kind of what I typically will look for is that, you know, I, I love resetting it and getting the ball to just drop in the kitchen and um, and getting into to good long dink battles. That's fun for me. I enjoy that. Um, so, the, you know, could be why I like the Kevlar a little bit more, a little softer around the net. But, but again, they're all they're all really good. Um, and so in case you were wondering, too, I'll see, let you see here. There's uh, I introduced my dog before, but that's one of my dogs. That's nasty. And uh, the other one is Nelson. Ah, see if you can figure that one out. Anyhow, uh, there you go. That's my uh, my thoughts on the 11.624 Harachis. Now I'm going to go get some Japanese food. Jimmy Pickles out.